Question 25. The diagram shows two similar solids A and B. So similar means they are the same shape, just one is bigger than the other one. So all the lengths are in the same ratio. For example, that length there is 4, that length there is double it. So whatever that length there is, that one will be double it as well. Okay. Solid A has a volume of 80 centimetres cubed. Work out the volume of solid B. Now, the way scale factors work is you can see that A is, if I put A there and B there, if A is 4, then the length of something on B is 8. Length. Okay? Now, the way area works is that you square both. 4 squared is going to be going to 8 squared. Okay? So you'd have if an area, if this had an area, of part of that had an area of 16, for example, 4 times 4 is 16, uh, that one would have 64. And then width, sorry, not width, uh, volume, would be 4 cubed to 8 cubed. Okay? Now, it's a lot easier, though, if you work it out into its lowest terms. So rather than 4 to 8, that would cancel down to 1 to 2. So length is 1 to 2. Area is going to be 1 again, because 1 squared is just 1, to 2 squared, which is 4. And volume is going to be 1, because 1 cubed, because we cube it for volume, is still 1. But this time, eight cu uh, sorry, 2 cubed is 8. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. OK? So to work out the volume of solid B, if the ratio is 1 to 8, it means you're going to take the volume of solid A, 80, and you're going to times that by 8, because the ratio is 1 to 8. So take whatever the volume of A is, times it by 8. So it's 80, that's the solid A, 80 centimetres cubed, times it by 8, 8 times 8 is 64, so it's 640 centimetres cubed. Solid B has a total surface area this time of 160 centimetres squared. Work out the total surface area of solid A. So we're going backwards. B has got the area of 160. Now, but we know that that is four times bigger than whatever A is, because the ratio is one to four. So all we have to do is take 160 and divide it by 4. OK? Now we know that 16 divided by 4 is 4, so 160 divided by 4 is 40 centimetres squared.